Hi, I'm the Bachelor Farmer Cook, and this is Prep Class. And we're moving right along to celery. Now, celery is kind of a, an easy one, especially if you've been watching the rest of the series. It uses many of the same techniques we've been talking about this entire time. There's just a few cute little things about the celery that I've always enjoyed. Now, it's got this nice little boat shape on it, and I think most of us remember that from our childhood, but I'll get back to that in just a moment. In preparing it, a lot of it's going to be exactly the same as the others. Slicing, dicing, making sticks, cubes. It's going to be the exact same techniques. Celery, just for me, always takes me back to my childhood, and a lot of the times when we were picnicking and whatnot, you always saw it was there. It was filled with peanut butter or maybe some pimento cheese. My personal favorite is filling it up with port red wine cheese. And here's a little, little tip for if you want to uh, make a really good snack out of it, especially for your friends. Now I went ahead and cut off these little ed pieces so that I had the right shape that I wanted. I'm going to go ahead and cut off the top also, and we'll set that aside for just a moment. And this is the shape that we're kind of used to seeing, of course, cut up. I'll get to that in just a moment. But if you fill this up with your favorite cheese spread or peanut butter, and then put toothpicks in the little different sections before you do your cutting, you'll have instant snacks on a stick for people, and you won't get the peanut butter or cheese all over your fingers. Now, this is the main part. And of course, if it says moons, well, I think we all... We all know what a celery moon is. We, we can all tell that part. That one's pretty easy. Um, sticks, well, it's going to be the same thing. You're just going to make it a little bit longer. We'll just cut it straight down the middle. And then boom, 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 we'll have our sticks. But what I wanted to show you was the diced part, which is not only just cutting it in half, but you want to take each of those sections and cut them in half as well. Now, celery is a very pliable vegetable, which is why it's a very popular one, and you, you'll find it in just, just about everything, which is why we're dealing with it today. Now that we have our four uniform pieces, of course, dicing it's just going to be as simple as all the other things we've done. Now, dicing usually is going to be used in soups or maybe a salad. Um, Usually, if you're going to snack on celery, like the half moons for a salad or something like that, it's going to be different. If you're dicing it, that's definitely going to be something for a soup. And that's going to be something for what's called mirepoix. Now, before I move on to that, just one little reminder about this little top part. These leafy parts at the very top have a very general watery flavor, just like the celery itself. So they actually make really beautiful little garnishments. So be sure to hang on to those because not only are they edible, they have a benign flavor, they're tasty, and they're pretty. And this little piece on the top, well, if you are doing mirepoix or anything like that for a salad, it is also edible. So let's go ahead and cut that down the middle and get it diced up as well. So mirepoix is a term that I came to know while I was working in the restaurants. It, just means onions, carrots, and celery, all diced together as a basic material for making soups. So that's the fascinating part about it. The most basic vegetables you have in most of your soups always start off with a mirepoix. Onions, carrots, and celery. So if you get your chicken stock, your water, um, your chicken meat, uh, mirepoix, throw them in about eight cups of water, you have soup. And for you vegetarians out there, if you get your veggie stock and your, your special veggies um, and your mirepoix, again, instant soup. That's where the varieties are endless, but because of the flavoring, the mirepoix, it just adds the vegetable sustenance that makes the soup a little more hearty from the get-go before you add your other ingredients and your spices and flavorings. So let's visit mirepoix for a second. A mirepoix is everything that we have kind of taken a look at over the last ep few episodes or so. And it's your diced onions, it's going to be your um, diced celery, and your diced carrots. So, we've got the celery, we've got the carrots, 
you give me just a second here, we'll have the onion. And remember, we'll go back to a reminder on our diced onions. You guys remember this part, right? Take your time, don't need to be in a hurry. Watch that sharp blade. Take care of your fingers, take care of your food, take care of your friends. And there we go. So we'll stick all of these together. We'll give it a good mix. And voila, one of your most basic vegetable staples, mirepoix. And from here, all you have to do is like most of the recipes say, add your meat, add your spices, add your water, add your stock, you have soup. And remember, if you get it just a little bit wrong, we'll probably eat it anyway. So be good, be good at it, and remember, stay out of my cooler.